Hi everyone, it's Cindy again, coming to you with a never seen dupe. I try to bring innovative and unique DIYs for your enjoyment and you will not be disappointed with this one. The look for less or you could call it dollar plus dupe is home decor that you can make yourself. Now a disclaimer, these items are not intended to sell or make money. It is strictly for my home and your enjoyment. I have listed the websites that you can purchase these items. Wow, free advertisement. Trays are so important to keep clutter at bay in the world of home decor. I think I have trays in each one of my rooms. Now, I am not a tray collector, but I have them in a variety of materials, sizes, shapes that are used throughout my home. My first DIY is a tray but I use it as a bar to serve my non-alcoholic drinks. I saw this Vinny cork tray on the Lulu and Georgia website. I thought this would be perfect for my home. However, I could not afford the cost, but you will find out in the end how much it costs. Mine is not exactly the same size, nor made from the same quality cork, but it suits my needs. So let's get started. The supplies needed include a wooden tray from Joanne Fabrics. It was $29.99, but it went on sale for $8. Crafter Square Adhesive Cork Sheets. This is 11 by 7 by, by 7.75 at Dollar Tree. Hot glue, cork ribbon, that was at Dollar Tree. Reptile adhesive, clamps, paper cutter, wood glue, and a wood round. In this project, you will not see any wood showing to fit the aesthetics of the original tray. I cut the cork to fit the edges of the wooden tray and began applying it to the sides first. And then the inside. I left a little space in between the cork and the wood to prevent the wood from showing by putting a strip of the cork ribbon in that area. The cork ribbon, of course, again, was applied with the none other but the reptile adhesive. No hot glue in this area because it would add bulk and make it a little bumpy. So don't use hot glue. The wood round was covered with adhesive cork sheets and I had to piece it together due to the rectile sheets that the Dollar Tree had. I realized that you could see some of the wood at the bottom, so I took the cork ribbon and placed it around the inside edges of the tray. And after that was completed, I carefully used wood glue to adhere it to the bottom of the tray. Then I placed a heavy object on top of it to make sure the wood bonded to the other wood because that was a necessity. I enjoy constructing this project, but I will have to say it was a work of commitment. It turned out fantastic. Now mine costs approximately $15, and that's adding in everything, the glue, the ribbon, etc. Theirs cost $574. Now let me know what you think. DIY number two, a candle holder dupe. Now, who doesn't like a beautiful candle holder? I have several to place around, especially in the winter months when it's so dark. Some extra beautiful light will give me a bit of sunshine. I saw this Ella Home Hemisphere candlestick on Perigold website and thought it would be nice for a classical touch to my home. The metallic accent adds a sharp visual interest and is perfect on the fireplace as well as grace on the dining room table. Check it out. The supplies needed are 
one Dollar Tree marble bowl. Well, it's not exactly marble, but it looks like marble. E6000, a bottom of a plastic cocktail cup, Dollar Tree, and that was approximately 20 cents. A three fourth inch coupling. This was at Lowe's, approximately 44 cents. Some gold spray paint and painter's tape. I found the marble bowl at Dollar Tree about two years ago. It was so pretty that I wanted to purchase at least four of them, but there was only one left. Therefore, I brought it home anyway, but did not have a plan for its use. I saw this Ella candlestick and thought, this is perfect. I took the plastic piece from the bottom of the martini glass and placed it on top of the bowl to see if it would fit, and it was the exact size. However, I needed something to place the candle in. So Lowe's to the rescue, I purchased a coupling that would fit a candle. Nevertheless, I needed to see if I could make that curved gold half circle on the bowl. I originally took some washi tape and attempted to make that work, but it wrinkled and bunched, so I had to abandon that idea, and I decided to spray paint it on. So I used some painter's tape to make the curved line, and it seemed to work out great. Then I covered up the bowl because I didn't want to get gold paint on anywhere except for where the line showed. And then I took it outside and sprayed it. After it was dry, I removed the tape and I could not believe my eyes. I saw a perfect gold half circle and it was on the thin side because you don't want it too thick. In the picture, it shows a thin half circle. Wow, there are things in Dollar Tree that are fabulous for high-end home decor. What have you found? My cost was approximately $2.69 and theirs cost $208. Now, mind you, mine is not marble or metal, but I think I came pretty close to this high-end look. What do you think and how did I do? Now the last DIY is a flower vase. I saw this Drew vase on Elk Home website. It is made from earthenware and weatherproof. This is a low wide with a narrow top and is a modern sort of sculptural vase to display your faux or real flowers if it's waterproof. And I can kind of show you how that could work. The supplies needed include some foam board that was in my stash, but when I bought the foam board, it was a dollar. Some white acrylic paint, hot glue, scissors, and all purpose caulk, that was a dollar 25, and some paper for the pattern, and I already had that. I trace a pattern on paper as to the size that I wanted. For example, the height and length. I cut the pattern and then I trace it on foam board and cut it out. I think I use scissors, but you can use an X-Acto knife. And now it was time to construct the base. I attached the sides to the bottom, then top and then the opening. The pieces were adhered with hot glue. And once that settled, I started using the all-purpose caulk and smeared it over the entire base. Now, I used some water to make it somewhat smooth. And then once it was dry, I applied another coat. And after that was dry, I started painting it. I was going to use an off-white paint, but when it dried, it turned out a little bit on the yellow side. I didn't like that. So I went back later and painted it with white chalk paint and it looked so much better. I put my flowers in and I think it looks fantastic. The Drew vase on Elk Home costs $142.99 and mine costs approximately $4.55, including everything. If I can insert a small bottle inside the opening, then mine can house real flowers, but it is not earthenware. But look at the savings. If you would like to see more of these dupes, let me know. Now, you're not going to want to miss next week. 
I am hosting a challenge for Black History Week with co-host Ray and you do not want to miss it. We have some fantastic DIYs that you will not want to miss. And if you have liked what you've seen, please subscribe, save, like, and comment. Help a girl out. And follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Remember, love makes your soul crawl out from its hiding place. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.